What you're looking at here is a laptop unlike any one you've ever used. This laptop is almost completely empty on the inside. In fact, it has no hard drive, no CPU, no RAM, really almost nothing on the inside except for a battery. And so instead of this laptop running on its own internals, it runs on your phone. And this is not necessarily an entirely new concept. We know that Samsung phones have DeX on there, Huawei phones have their own thing, and Android is coming out with a new update eventually where they will have their own essentially desktop interface that should look something like Chrome OS. And the way this works, so we've seen those where you can plug them into a standard laptop and have an interface there. You can plug it into a monitor, you can plug it into a projector, you can plug it into a TV. But all of those kind of work, you know, plugging into your laptop is great, but doesn't really have a lot of use. Plugging into a, you know, a computer monitor is great, but then you have to get a mouse and a keyboard and it's not really that portable. Now what this right here does, the next dock two, it allows you to plug your phone into this and you have a keyboard, you have a mouse, you have a screen and you have a battery in there that again, charges your phone as well. So it's really a new way to take your phone, which is already very expensive and very powerful and use it as a laptop as well by just buying this relatively cheap piece of hardware right here that acts as your screen and just all the other mechanical parts of a laptop. So it's a really interesting concept in this video. I want to dive into it, see how practical it actually is, see if we're ready for this technology yet. And I want to talk about uh, just a lot about this laptop. So starting off with a physical tour, this one right here, as I said, is the next stock two. They're coming out with another one that is going to be the next stock touch sometime this summer. That's going to be a 14 inch one with a touch screen. Of course, I'll review that when that comes out as well. But this one right here uh, has no touch screen. It's a 13 inch model. And on the outside, they have that nice aluminum finish, pretty similar to a MacBook really. And it's you know relatively light, but it's a pretty nice, well-built laptop from what I can tell on the surface. Now, keep in mind, this is the early edition here. They are kind of in the prototype phases. This is still kind of early in production. So there's a couple little quirks I'll talk about. One of them is that in the, in the, the version I have, the ports are not perfectly lined up but otherwise the laptop does work very well. So looking on the left side, we have three USB type C ports right there. One of them is the one that you will be plugging your phone into if you wanna use your phone. So like Samsung Galaxy, as I said, if you plug in with the cable they gave us, uh, then you will actually be able to you know, use it just through USB-C right there. The other two USB-C ports will not work for you know, plugging in your phone right there, but you can plug in power and you charge your laptop by USB-C and then your phone actually charges as well from when it's plugged into this. Then we have an HDMI port right there. Interestingly enough, this is HDMI in, not out. So for this, you could plug in really pretty much anything. So you could plug in like a Raspberry Pi, a little PC thing. Uh, you could plug in an actual, like a desktop to this. You could plug a laptop into this and use it as a, a second display. You could plug in, I mean, I tried a Fire Stick, I tried a Chromecast, uh, and it works for pretty much all of those. This is just an HDMI in, and you can use the screen then and the speakers on this as well. Then on the right side, we have a USB type A port right there. We have a headphone jack and we have a SD card slot right there, a micro SD. And you can plug some things into this. Not everything works. So for example, if you are using a Samsung Galaxy S20, uh, you're running DeX on this, then you cannot necessarily plug in a wired printer. Wireless printers work fine, but a wired printer, unless you have the drivers, which I don't have those on my phone, it won't work. And there's a couple other things like that that won't work, but a lot of things do work. So for example, I plug in an external mouse and I can use a mouse just fine using this laptop. And then when we open it up, you'll see that we do have the 13 inch screen right there. There is no webcam on the top. It's a little bit strange, but you do have a speaker on this laptop. The speaker is actually really well hidden. So you're not gonna see it right there. And then you have a full keyboard. The keyboard has, you know, pretty nice keys actually. And they feel nice. They're not at the same level as like a premium laptop out there. But I would say they definitely, they work really well. They're very responsive and they are actually backlit. So there is a backlit keyboard button up on the top. Then we have a trackpad down there. The trackpad is not perfect. It has kind of a strange texture that took me a while to get used to. And it's not the most responsive trackpad, but for the most part, I like to use a mouse on the side anyway. So I plug in my wireless mouse on the side and I can just use that. Now this across the top, we do have those keys that are not going to be really controlling your phone. Instead, they're controlling this laptop. So on the left, you can uh, turn off the trackpad. Uh, F1 is going to be displaying the battery of this laptop. And I'll talk about the battery life in a minute. We have the volume, you can mute it, you can turn the volume down or up. And keep in mind, you can also do several other things. So if I plug in my Galaxy S20 to this, I can play audio from my phone speakers, from these speakers, or I can plug in, uh, I can have Bluetooth headphones and I can play audio that way as well. 
And actually we have Mariposa Groves right here, and this is where you see the giant sequoia trees. So you're going to be driving about an hour out of the valley, so a bit of a trap to get up here. And you park in a lot about a mile outside of the groves, take a free shuttle in, that way people aren't driving over the roof. F5 is going to be the backlit keys turning on or off. You can change the brightness of this screen. It gets fairly bright, definitely bright enough to use in most environments. It's a high gloss screen though, so in direct sunlight, it may be a little bit tricky to see this. Then we do have the you know, just the audio, the playback options there. These will control your phone, so uh, next track, previous track, or play pause. Works on Spotify and things like that. Uh, we can insert print screen. Now printing screen is actually pretty cool. With index, it takes a screenshot uh, and saves it to your phone. We can go and you know delete and all the other keys are pretty normal then. In the box with this laptop, you get a ton of cables and a ton of adapters, pretty much anything you want. But one thing to keep in mind is the USB-C cable they give you to plug your phone into this laptop is actually a very, it's a relatively short cable. I think it's a good length to have your phone right next to it, but not all USB-C cables are created equal. So if you take the one that came with your phone, for example, and plug it in, you will not be able to use this as Samsung, you know, with the Samsung DeX interface right there. So when I plug my phone into this laptop, it does charge my phone, but I tried to test the battery when my phone was at 100%, but keep in mind, it still drains a little bit of power that way because it is, you know, it has a screen on, it is running DeX, so your phone is still using some power and it's keeping it at 100%. But I found that it does, it lasts somewhere on the order of about six hours when I have the screen brightness all the way up and if I'm playing music on the speakers. So some of the cool things I noticed with this laptop, I mean, specifically talking about Samsung DeX, is hotkeys do work. So copy, paste, whatever, if all the hotkeys that are pretty much the same as the ones you'd be using on Windows, they do work and it is really easy to manage and navigate all of your Windows, all tab works, and it's just very easy to use it. It, it feels very similar to Windows. Um, it feels also pretty similar to Chrome OS in a way. So it's not really that unusual and, and it feels very natural to navigate. So I know right about now, a lot of you are probably thinking, yeah, okay, I get it. This is kind of a cool device, but like, why would you get that instead of a regular laptop? Why would you use your phone? And so there are actually quite a few benefits that I didn't initially think of right away, but after using this for a while, they're definitely, they became pretty obvious. So the first one that I think is really nice is not having to use my phone as a hotspot. And instead, if I just plug my phone in when I'm traveling, it's really nice that I could just run off my mobile data or I could use the, I can also use the Bluetooth connections on my phone right there for my own headphones. So I no longer have to switch between like headphones connected to my laptop, headphones connected to um, my phone or have, you know, multiple media playing. I don't have to worry about that. So it's just a really nice seamless integration when everything's just running through your phone. Another benefit would be, let's say you have a family of like six people and everybody has maybe like a Galaxy S8 or whatever Samsung phone. And rather than having everybody buy like a, their own laptop, you can just get maybe like two or three of these and share them among your family. So if your kids have to write an essay, they could just plug your phone into this. They can use this. You can have the same parental controls you have on the phone. And it just is a very easy integration without having to buy multiple or many laptops. Some other benefits are security. I think that's a big one, having everything on like a secured folder on your Samsung Galaxy phone uh, or having biometric locking. So fingerprint locking on your phone is a good one. You can also have obviously face ID if you're using that instead. And also when you're traveling, I like, like I said, being able to use data or what I really do is I use a VPN. So rather than having a VPN on my laptop and then having one on my phone as well, I just have it on my phone, I turn it on, I'm protected and I can plug my laptop in here and then everything I'm doing here is also protected so I don't have to worry about if I'm on public Wi-Fi having anything you know risky with that and so I mean in case you're wondering the one that I use is NordVPN I'll put a link down below uh, and I think you get a discount of like 75% off with that link too. Um, it's just what I use. I think saved passwords are also really great with this phone so instead of typing in passwords on your laptop and your phone all the time just have them all on your phone and then sign in like with your fingerprint or something I think that would be a nice way to use this laptop and probably one of the biggest benefits that I didn't mention yet is that your laptop doesn't really ever get outdated internal so you never have to worry about slowing down with a processor or having outdated RAM or having uh, storage is not enough filling up your storage because every time you buy a new phone you automatically have basically new internals for your laptop so your laptop can really kind of stay uh, for a much longer time than a traditional laptop would you never have it slowing down as long as you're buying a new phone now this all sounds great so far but this is still a very early concept a lot of phones don't even have this yet Samsung phones do Huawei phones do but that's kind of it so far so this is definitely early on so it's meant for early adopters right now but do I think this is going to be something that more and more people will start making in the future? Yes, absolutely. I think there's something that is kind of interesting and unique about this. And 
it may start to catch on in the future. Now, there are definitely some drawbacks with this. So for example, when you're using Samsung DeX, not all the apps are optimized. A lot of them are, like the Google apps, the Microsoft apps, and the Samsung apps. All of them do work in a full screen mode. Uh, so Chrome works, you just gotta switch to desktop mode and it feels just like a normal desktop. But a lot of other apps are not quite optimized for this. So you can force them to go to full screen. But apps like Netflix, I found that they're not capable of playing on Samsung DeX right now. So if you wanted to watch Netflix on this using your phone, that doesn't work. I mean, you're gonna have to use like a Fire TV stick or something. Um, so that, that's a drawback right there. The settings are also kind of limited for this laptop. So for example, the touchpad scrolling is the opposite of what I naturally like on a laptop. Uh, so if you want to change that, you kind of can't. I wish there was a next dock, next dock app that I could get and adjust settings like that and it just integrate a little bit more nicely there. Uh, there's also no webcam. The price is still a little bit high. I would like to see this under $200. It's like $240, $250 right now. But again, that's like the Kickstarter price right now. So we'll see what it actually ends up being in the future, maybe once they start mass producing this a little bit more. So guys, in conclusion, this laptop right here at the price point is a really cool concept. It has some really unique benefits. And if they resonate with you, you should definitely go out and get that. You'll probably be considered an early adopter. But for the most part, I think it's gonna be a little while until this really starts to compete with things like a Chromebook, which is already very, very cheap, very robust, very long battery life, has a webcam and stuff like that. So like Chromebooks right now, I think maybe would be a better option than this if you're just trying to have like a family laptop or something. Everyone can sign into their own device, uh, their own account. But I think that this does have a future. I think this is a really interesting concept. Let me know down below if you think that, you know, a laptop like this could ever be something that a lot of people would be using. Do you think that maybe Apple or Android phones could just inherently have a really nice interface you could plug it in and where do you see these really being used most so i want to hear from you guys uh, this is a really new concept and i like sharing this idea with you guys and i want to hear it from you guys in the comment section below so let me know what you think if you enjoyed this video please also remember to like and subscribe thank you all for watching see you next time